Okay, so I've only got two songs today, and I'm going to start with the short one first. This is actually not one I have played yet for anyone, including my family. Um, it's one I've been wanting to play, though, for a long time, because it's a song I sing to Wisp every night. This is her first lullaby of, of two or three, depending on the night. Um, and it's a song I've always loved since I was a kid, because I love Julie Andrews, and I love Mary Poppins. Um, and it's just a beautiful song, and I'm probably gonna make some flubs. I'll go ahead and warn you, there's like three F minors and a new chord that I found. Um, I didn't make this one up. I have a sheet of chords, and I happened to find one on that sheet that worked in this one. The, the original um, version of this I found that I'm using most of, I, th I changed all the F staffs twos, but because why not when you can? Um, but they just had you playing just G on this, that's not G at all, on this one part where in the song there's an obvious shift. So I was just like, no, I'm not going to just keep playing G, even though with no other background instruments, you wouldn't know. But if you know the song, you would know, and I know, and it would bother me. So I found a chord and it's not hard. It's just much further up than I'm used to going. So, and it's pressing down two chords with one finger, or two strings, sorry, with one finger and then doing this one. Um, so hopefully I won't completely mess those up, but if I do, oh well. It's a very, very pretty song. and. If I'm really bad at it now, I only practiced it a couple of times before, like, I mean, this morning before pressing record. I probably should have practiced it, like, ten. Um, because I feel like I was doing much better yesterday or the day before, whenever it was I found the song. I'll revisit it someday if it's really bad. <laughs> Stay awake, don't rest your head. Don't lie down upon your bed While the moon drifts in the skies Stay awake, don't close your eyes Sleep, though your pillow is soft and deep, you're not sleepy as you seem. Stay awake, don't nod and dream. horrible as it could have been. Not as great either. Um, I might do it one more time because wow that was bad. What happened? Ugh. Well, I'm using this finger. That's a little easier. But it did that weird metallic tinny sound again and I just don't know why that happened. Mm. Um... For those of you confused as to why this is a lullaby, if you've never seen Mary Poppins, what's wrong with you? Watch Mary Pop, the original Mary Poppins. Um, it's a reverse psychology song, and it's I think it's just freaking adorable, because um, of course the kids are asleep by the end of it. Um, she's also using her just crazy brand of magic to make that happen, because we all know she's a witch that went to Hogwarts. Um, but I've always thought it was a very clever song. So I'm going to try it one more time. You can skip the rest of this if you want. Because <laughs> it may be even worse. Who knows? Stay awake Don't rest your head Don't lie down upon your bed in the 
skies Stay awake Don't close your eyes Though the world is fast asleep Though your pillow is soft and deep wasn't any better. It didn't do the metallic thing that time, but it just didn't sound clear either. So sometimes I can do it right away, and other times it's like, eh. it's like I have to press down harder. I don't know what I was doing wrong. And I'm using that for finger. I don't know. It's interchangeable. It doesn't matter if I'm using that or that finger on that string. Um, but also going straight from that to F minor. <laughs> sucks. And then there's a lovely G right after. It's just a whole bunch of nope right beside each other. F minor G, A minor 7, F minor G. At least it ends in the C. Yay. Um, so overall not the hardest song uh, to play, but definitely a harder one to sing. It just needs a lot of breath support, um, which I think I did decent at. Not great, but eh. When I'm concentrating on a new song, playing a new song while singing it, you know, it's always another thing to think about. Um, and when I'm singing it to a wisp, like she doesn't care when I take a breath, so I don't necessarily sing it perfectly to her every night. Um, but she loves it. She's, I don't think she's ever jumped down while I've been singing this song. Uh, I get through this one and one other, and then I used to do... I would vary the third one. I would just pick a different song and sometimes she would sit, stay through the whole third song and then want a fourth song, but lately it's just she wants the two and then she's done. So she goes in phases. It's fine. But I love that she always seems to love this one. So yay, I love it too. And I hope I didn't butcher it for those of you who also love it. I think I will revisit this one sometime in the future when I'm better at this, but hopefully this was good enough for today at least, and I will move on to the next song. All right, see you then.